Oh my god, that thing is huge. What the heck? On the left, on the left, on the left. Oh, there's another big one? Yep. We're fossil hunting here today. Look at that. Spots that nobody else gets out to. I'm like, I'm like stuck. Oh, f stay down. Oh, yep. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Woo! Oh, and shit. and we're, we're stuck. stuck. So now we gotta get the boat unstuck, and we do this all day when we go out and scout locations. We dodge crazy trees, and we get the boat unstuck, and we Keep on moving. We're in our first spot for today. We see a shell marl that has gravel and maybe there'll be something in there. We gotta go find out though. It's always exciting getting underwater for the first time when scouting a new location. You honestly never know what you might find. In this spot, however, we started finding marine fossils immediately, as well as some ice age fossils, which was a really good sign. First course, dude. Really, already? Yeah, I say horse juice. Nice. This, this is going to be a good area. Because we were already finding fossils, I decided to take my time going through the gravel. In this one little catch, we got an Ice Age horse ankle, a whale ear bone, and this right here is a very old horse tooth. This area is going to be loaded. Like, there's a lot of good stuff in here. I know, it's crazy. As soon as I got back underwater, I noticed a tiger shark tooth that I had missed earlier when grabbing the bone. So I went back up to show Joe it. Not perfect, but that's like the biggest tiger shark tooth I found. I think it's huge. I think I got a sloth tooth. Oh, the first fossil I'm picking up right now is a very large alligator tooth, but this second fossil, I did not initially know what it was. Giant beaver tooth. Oh, way cooler. Giant beaver. It's broken though. Oh my gosh. That's the nicest piece of what I've ever found. There's just stuff everywhere over here. Yeah. With the amount of fossils we had already found, it started to get very exciting to think about what we might uncover today. I've got a canine, but the tip's broken. Like what? I don't know, a predator. Really? Yeah, it's a predator tooth. Our first really incredible find of the day was the following black bear canine. Ooh. Bear tooth with a broken tip. Dude, look at this, it's just sitting here on the bank. There's so much mammal material here. Really? That is insane. Perfect root, just a tip broken. What is happening? That's crazy. This spot is good though. Yeah. We're gonna no. find a lot of good stuff here over the as years. As long as it stays consistent like this and not... I mean, we went way up there a few years ago and it was terrible. Yeah, but we just need a few good stretches of miles and we'll find stretches crazy Stretches of miles. You said a few good stretches and you're like, a few good stretches of miles. There's a difference between a stretch and a mile, John. Stretches of miles is asking for too much. I just want there to be another bear canine in the next hole. I don't have any decent canines. Let's take a look at this real quick. Yeah. You're floating away. That is a section of giant beaver incisor. It doesn't have the chewing end, but that's the best piece I have ever found to one. Let me get over next to you to show this. Ah, uh, okay. See, I found that just walking along the bank right there. See that, that leg bone chunk right there? Oh yeah. That's nice right there. What's this junk? That is a bear cannon. That's pretty incredible. Just the oh, tips yeah. chipped First off. First hole. And already we got predator material in this little uh, waterway here. That's too small for any of the extinct ones. It's probably just a black, black bear. Yeah. But that's well cooked. Mm -hmm. 
and it's with all those other extinct animals. Yeah, it's got a nice root to it where it pinches out. Yep. You gonna restore that, Joe? It'd be really easy to. Yep, just a little bit of the tip. Mm-hmm. It even has the little corners there to go off of. That is awesome. Let's find some more stuff today, man. That's yeah, really it's good a sign. pretty good sign. I mean, right up there might get better again at the end of this. You see that log snag yeah. up there? Yeah, we might find way more stuff today, but we gotta get moving. Oi. Oi? It's stuck. Uh-oh. Here we go again. The next bin was loaded with large shells, but still produced a couple interesting fossils. You gotta check out how pretty this tiger shark tooth is. Oh yeah? He's pretty. It's gonna have to be cleaned up. Boom. Oh Look yeah. Look at that. That came right out of that weird shell marl. Yep, underwater. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty when that dries. It's gonna dry orange and green. Yeah, the stuff from here is gonna have such nice colors. Dude, the stuff from here almost has Bone Valley colors. Hey Joe, what's around the next bin? A mountain of gravel. There's a mountain of gravel back There's there. There's a mountain of gravel and all the going. way back there, all the way around this edge. We're gonna split this up and we're gonna find something crazy. Oh yeah. You oh, wanna yeah. head up to there and I'll check from there up to here. So we just popped our gator cherry in this river. Oh yeah. First. I didn't see it. I thought I saw a tail. No, it was a head. Uh, Little like seven or eight footer. <laughs> it's not good at all. It's not good. But yeah, it started getting silty right back there, and I'm like, ooh, John, this is a bad idea. <laughs> You're like, ah, just keep going, you know. Well, there, there could have been some, something good, yeah. laying on top of a mammoth, too. Oh, well. We'll let him have it. There's definitely a lot of wildlife out here. And while it's not fun seeing a gator underwater, what are you going to do? If you want to find cool stuff, you got to take some risks. All oh, that shell. Look at all that formation. We're just going over it, too. That looks good. Holy crap, look at that! Shallow, lots of stuff. So I just picked this up thinking it was a piece of rib, and so I didn't record it, but that is a fully rooted fossilized alligator tooth. You never find them that complete. So that is actually a really, really, really cool find. And there's a lot of gators in here in the ice age. A lot of gators in here now. Yep, let's keep moving. I think we have our first big animal tooth. It looks like half mammoth tooth. So let's go and grab it. So this happens a lot in the field. Uh, you think you see one thing, and it actually turns out to be another thing. So I swear this looked like a broken mammoth tooth when I was underwater. And it still even looked like one when I picked it up and pulled it out. But I was wrong. It's beat up, but that's what that is, isn't it? No, uh, that ain't no mammoth too. That's just sandstone. Is this? Yep. Oh, weird, yeah. Yep. Just sandstone. Dummy. Disappointing. I still had a chance at redemption though because this spot was absolutely loaded with ice age bone and marine fossils. So we had been at the river for a couple hours and we could tell that this area went through three unique environments already. We've got ice age fossils that represent a terrestrial landmass, we've got this unique shelly material that represents a coastal environment, and then whale bones that represented an offshore environment. The amount of bone in there was unreal. Yeah, there was a lot of bone. Check this out. What'd you find? Hold this. What'd you find? Yeah, that was pretty sketchy with the amount of bone. Oh, but super sketchy. Like the amount of bone was what kept me going. Plus, look at that. Oh, nice camel. That's pretty sweet. Yep. There you go. We quickly got back to finding more fossils, including a couple of very nice Ice Age horse teeth. However, I was not interested in this one I'm about to pick up because right in front of it was one of the cooler finds of today, marine wise. Go! Oh, he's underwater. I got a great white. That's awesome. Pretty nice too. Another oh, horse too. Cool, cool, cool. Of course I had to interrupt Joe who was fanning for more fossils to show him the very unique find. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That shell. Man, if we fan here all day we'd find so much stuff. Just fanning here I found a couple of horse teeth, broke the camel tooth. 
Was that fan or was that laying out? It was underneath the log. Oh man. Isn't that crazy? That's sweet. And there's there's Pleistocene stuff all over right through here. If we spent all day and just fanned out this spot, oh you find, find so, so much, much stuff. stuff. Oh my, my god. god. Okay, I found a few more Ice Age horse teeth and other bones, but this that is an awesome tooth. Get a little bit closer. That's a fossil great white shark tooth. And it is in really good shape. Joe found a ton of Ice Age bones too. What the heck? <laughs> oh my god. This is a good spot. This is a really good spot. Giant armadillo. That's a nice Oops. camel carpal. Uh, what's this? That is an alligator. That's the top of their top skull. Of the skull. Yeah, top of the skull and alligator. What a gator too. A little cool peace sign. Look at that. That's cool. This area. This area. Is loaded. Is Look at loaded. all of that bone. Let's go find some more stuff. Oh yeah. So we're further down river, still finding stuff. But I just ran into my second gator of the day, and. It makes it worth it when you're finding cool stuff to be able to risk running into these animals, but I've never had anything happen and I've seen them face to face more times than I can remember. So it is scary, but Joe's going to check this little shallow area right here and we'll keep moving on. There's still a lot of really cool stuff to, to find out here and I'm not done time traveling today. New spot, we're going to beach the boat. Check for gator slides. Might end up being our final spot for today. There's a gator slide. Gator slide? Yep. Yeah, I see it. Not a big one though. No, a small one. That's a small gator slide. Seems like a couple going in there though. I mean like, this is a choice spot to hang out if you're a gator. Look at this nice sandy bank. I'd hang out here. I think that's bigger than you think, John. Okay, well then we avoid this deep hole over here. But back there, we're still checking that. Oh yeah. We gotta still check back there. That was oh, yeah. limestone and good looking as it gets. That might have been a bubble from that gator right there. Alright, you wanna go find some rocks? Sure. I wanna find where that gator is though. That right there is that boy's belly scoots. And those are the small scoots on them things' bodies, I think. Never seen one underneath. Oh well. But look at the size of the hand. Oh. Yeah. That's not a tiny gator actually. It's not a tiny gator. That's a big boy. It's a big boy. Well, like I said, we still gotta get over there. God, every deep hole on this river has gators in it. I know, I've run into two already. <laughs> Make it three? Nah, dude. Nah, I ain't getting in there. Nope. Okay, okay, okay. So Joe and I do this thing all the time where we see something that looks like a mammoth or mastodon tooth and we half jokingly, half seriously say, hey, that looks like a mastodon tooth. I was right over, let's see, right somewhere in that junk and I was like, that looks like a mastodon tooth. Joe goes about three feet in front of it, doesn't even see it and he, fi he starts looking. I come in right behind Joe and there's a mastodon tooth. So there's another piece there Joe pointed out. I'm gonna there's go grab it. Up here. There's ivory up there? Yeah. Holy crap, we are having an incredible day. I'm gonna grab that mastodon tooth. Okay, here we go. Different tooth. Oh yeah. That's amazing. That's so amazing. What the heck? the Mako when because got I haven't that. seen it oh wow yeah the Mako's really gorgeous okay I haven't yeah. shown the camera that but look the weight look at that mastodon tooth what mastodon tooth what do you mean what mastodon tooth uh, don't see one you I see, see these bits of tusk that I found oh those bits of tusk yeah I see freaking fully grown adult mastodon tooth perfect cap really wouldn't have had much roots anyway because 
has no wear, so what in the God, back, that, that a cavity developing. Crazy. The color the is gorgeous. The stuff coming out, out of that shell marl is going to be crazy. Wow. This is one of my favorite animals to find in Florida. They were giant browsing elephants. First animal recognized God, as extinct. That brick red color. I know, thing. look at that piece of tooth from the same animal. Opposite tooth, twin tooth. God. Scouting trip, find stuff like this is always crazy. You just never know what's gonna be out there. For a scouting trip, this hasn't been too bad. <laughs> could be better, I could have something really nice to bring home, but I mean. Are you gonna threaten to murder me? Cause that's kind of a thing in every video where no, I'm nice. No, no, remember we talked about that and I said I need to address the controversy of, you know, me always threatening to murder my friend. And I've known you for nine years now. How many years have I been threatening to murder you? Most of them. Yeah. And how many nice things have you found right next to me or right around me and stuff like that? And how often have I actually murdered you? You haven't murdered me yet. I get the point. No, I haven't, no. I probably won't, too. Unless you find another brick red mastodon tooth. <laughs>